as you might notice, the city looks totally different than it did in the last video. Welcome to the LEGO Studio. My name is Matt, and if you're new to this channel, we're building this LEGO city here together. In this video, I plan to overhaul the harbor area. I started with high spirits, but soon ran into a number of obstacles. In this video, I want to show you what building a LEGO city can involve. And I can tell you it requires a lot of adjustments and changes because you encounter many obstacles. In this video, I'm going to take you through what this process looked like. When I got down to work and grabbed all the pieces I thought I'd need, I found out the train tracks and the monorail tracks were not like they should be in my vision. So this meant the whole city needed to be revamped. And that's the focus of this video. I can recommend this vacuum. It's powerful, easy to empty, and the brushes on the front really help with getting the dust. And this is the vision I have here. Lighthouse here in the front, beaches or dunes in, in there in the back, and perhaps a forest there, behind there. But that means it, the tracks need to move. And if you move one thing in the LEGO city, you're moving everything. So let's shovel up. And here you can see why some modulars don't really work well together next to each other. And when you disassemble train tracks, be sure to remove all the plates. Oops, <laughs> that's easier. But yeah, it's going to be a monorail episode here. Be sure to stick around because it's going to be a cool layout. And is this the best play best way to move a modular? I don't know. I tried. <laughs> and this is what, what you get when you're building a Lego city. It's a mess. And it's also searching for the best layout. Shuffling a lot of modulars. It's not easy. But then a friend of mine had a great suggestion. Why not put the modulars in front of the race platform? That way you get to cover up the platform and don't have to use a lot of bricks. So I really like that, but I was missing a building. So here we are, the Jazz Club. I had a lot of fun building this set. It's a cool set. A lot of cool play features like this removable rooftop garden. And here we have the tailor with the clothing fabrics, the sewing machine, the wood or fireplace. And this is something I liked in the building instructions, the little backstories. Cool colored windows here. Second floor with the hall to the first floor. Uh, again, a cool play feature with the easily removable curtain. So you can change up the stage. Really cool. The new layout also meant I had to make room. So let's make some room here. And this is the first time I had kind of the final, semi-final version and I was quite happy to see it. So it was time to move on to the monorail tracks. And when you're crossing a train with a monorail track, it needs to be two pillars tall. And here you can also see the first custom 3D printed piece from this episode from 40 bricks. Uh, 
ramp extension. But I was still searching and this was not the layout I wanted. So it was time for a clean slate. And that really helped because that helped me see what I really wanted and that was the monorail above the streets. And I also put the modulars a bit closer to each other to make room for future expansions of course. Alright, time to get some base plates down here for the monorail tracks of course. I have quite a few of them. Straights, corners, switches, stop and go. And here you can see how it works. It, one of the tracks has these little notches and you hold them together, put the 1x4 plate on the side, put the other one, and there we have it. Two pieces connected. Quite sturdy. The monorail switch can be switched by the slider or just by moving the track. The corner piece connects like this to make it a corner or the other way around to make it a Y switch. And you can extend it with this custom 3D printed piece which allows for really cool layouts. This is also custom, the four stud piece on the top. It allows for the custom layout we have here and aligning it with the street sort of aligning it and this is the layout at some point and here you can see to the airport but the track underneath didn't really make a lot of sense so i removed it again and the monorail curves are actually quite in abundance because they are quite common in monorail sets but i didn't find a good use for it and one might argue, is this the best way to do it? But I did find the layout I wanted. So this meant it was time to move to the roads because those were not finished yet. And this was the road situation before and the road plates were one stud above the base plate. But that doesn't really work when you make it like this. So I had to raise them with one stud. And I learned from the previous video with the train crashes, it's very important to support the train tracks. And the incline is a bit too steep, but yeah, it kind of works. So it's okay for me. 
And with that, it's time to look at the before and after picture. Here we have the before. And after. And there we have it, folks, the complete city revamped and all. I would love to hear from you. What would you like to work on next in the city? Let me know in the comments, because we have a lot of room for activities now that the modulars are placed in the back. And we have room for new stuff in the front here, like a monorail station, for example. Let me know in the comments, what would you like to build or fix or change up in this city? I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please consider giving a thumbs up or a like because it really helps out the channel and to help spread this video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video because we're going to actually work on the harbor area. And if you'd like to see more from this awesome Lego city, like how I built that, that awesome tunnel in the back, you should definitely check out this video right here. See you next time.